Today, federal regulators with the Food and Drug Administration are poring over the results of clinical trials for Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, it's the same process the Pfizer vaccine went through before distribution started this week. News 6's Lauren Cervantes has been following these talks all day. She joins us now in studio with what she's learned. Well, Matt and Ginger, the committee just held a vote, a majority agreeing that the benefits of the Moderna vaccine outweigh the risks for people 18 and older. They're now back in a discussion over those results. Now, a lot of the conversation within the last hour is focused on ongoing clinical trials with the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. The committee discussing the benefits and the risks of a blinded trial versus an unblinded trial. Members in the meeting say they worry about losing that placebo group of participants from the trials with the availability of the vaccine already out there. Today's FDA committee meeting is to address, of course, the big question. Uh, based on scientific evidence available, do the benefits of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine outweigh its risks for uses in adults? Now, another topic that the group looked at was the potential of adverse reactions to the vaccine and if Moderna has seen any. The uh, most common uh, preferred terms uh, events that we found under the hypersensitivity related events were injection site urticaria, injection site rash, or rash in general, or, you know, or hives, or itching. So nothing that really are close even to anaphylaxis. Now, earlier this week, Governor Ron DeSantis said he was expecting a favorable recommendation for the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine and said shipments of the vaccine could come as early as this weekend if they got that approved EUA authorization.